up to now, hopefully you're comfortable with giving all the right answers. But here are some advanced tips that really sets you apart from everybody else on the interview. Because at the end of the day, you want to set yourself apart from everybody else. So the first tip I have for you is distractions. You know, having a pen in your hand like this when you're answering, it's subconscious. I've seen a lot of people do this. But actually detracts away from your answer. You're not probably looking at me, you're probably looking at my pen over here. So I wouldn't do that. Another thing is I see people as you're answering subconsciously, again, tapping the table as you're answering like this, and uh, it detracts from your answer. So don't do that. The same goes with, you know, if you have any notebooks, you know, I don't recommend you turning pages or tapping your notebook. I see this all the time. So if you have any notebooks or pens, I recommend you putting it way off to the side, far away from your reach so that, you know, number one, you don't create any distractions. And number two, so you're not tempted to look down at the answers and read and then get caught looking at some of your notes. All right, the second tip I have for you is this, slouching. I see this a lot, you know, when people give answers and after a minute or so, they'll start to get too comfortable. They start to slouch and it takes away from the professionalism of your interview answers. Instead, sit in the middle of your chair. If this was a video interview, I would keep the identical space on both sides of your shoulders from the edge of the camera view. I would keep a space on the top as well between your head and the top of the camera lens. So this way you'll keep everything nice and even and you'll be centered in your frame when you're giving that interview and when you look at the interviewer look at one person look at the other person take a break and keep doing that kind of like the instrument scan you do in an airplane so try that the other thing with posture is i would keep my hands on the table like this or like this or maybe even on my lap as you get more comfortable giving the answers you can even make hand gestures like this you know to emphasize some of your answers not everybody's comfortable with using hand gestures if you're going to do it i would just use it a little bit sparingly use it only when you're trying to draw some emphasis into your answer the next advanced tip is your speech rate and tonality. So what I have found from doing well over 100 interview preps at this point of recording this video is that a lot of people tend to talk really fast when giving the answer. And they feel that they have to get the answer out there. So they might say, hi, my name is Eric. You know what? I went to the Air Cadets. And then uh, after the Air Cadet summer, I managed to get into flight school. I managed to join this flight school in my PPL, CPL commercial. And they just go really fast. And when you do that, you're not giving the interviewer a chance to write down your answers. You'll notice a lot of time that the interviewer is taking notes. As you're speaking, they're taking and noting down on all the important points that you're talking about so that at the end of the day or the end of the week they can compile all the different answers from everybody else and then choose the best interview answer so the pace that i like to use when answering is like this hi my name is keith demello i'm very excited to be here today i've been waiting for this moment all the way back through my flight school days when my school announced a partnership with your airline i made sure i did everything i could to check off all the boxes to be here today the reason i got into aviation is because i've always wanted to do something fun and exciting with my life. I couldn't see myself working in an office. Since day one, I took my flight training seriously. I came early, I came prepared for my flights. I dressed up professionally in my uniform. So that's the way I recommend you giving your answer. Nice and slow. Okay, you're probably wondering why it got so dark. Not to worry, this is actually part of the lesson and this is to do with lighting. As you can tell, you can't really see my face very clearly and you aren't able to see the little micro expressions because, you know, it's really dark. So I recommend you putting a light source behind your computer. So whether that be a window behind you to give you natural light or a white light source, I would try and avoid using any yellow lighting sources because that just makes your face look orange. I would try and get one of those white lights. That way it really lights up your face. This way you can see all the micro expressions, you can see the smile and it makes a deeper connection between yourself and the person you're talking to. And the final advanced tip I have for you, and it's probably one of the most important tips. And yes, I left it to the end to see if you really are paying attention. That's why I put it at the end. But to me, it's one of the most important important tips to actually make yourself stand out from the crowd and that is how fast you give your answers. A majority of you when you give your answers when asked a question for example tell me about your aviation career. Well my aviation career is this this is where I went to flight school this is what I know this is why I'm competent for the job. You know that is too fast. Don't just spring out of the gate. Instead of what I recommend you doing is to just pause a few seconds before giving your answer. Pause not one not two about four seconds yes four seconds. It can seem like a a long time. When I tell people this, they still do it incorrectly by doing it this way. So they'll pretend to pause and then right away when they give me the answer, it's too fast. Don't do it that way either. Pause. One, two, three, four. You can even look off to the side, pretend that you're thinking about your answer. You could even say, you know, that's a good question. No one's asked me this before. Let me think about it and then give your answer nice and slow. That's not a canned answer that you're taking your time, you're thinking it through, and don't be afraid that as you're giving the answer to again pause, mid-answer, think about what you're saying, and then continue the answer. And if you're ever feeling like you're running out of things to say, 
you can just stop it right there. And when you do stop it right there, you can just repeat the question back to them. You know, and that is my greatest strength. It's better to just cut the answer short if you're getting a little nervous or if you have like a, you know, brain fog and stop it right there, end it professionally versus, you know, just dragging it on and making a mistake at the end. These are techniques that I personally teach and I personally have used that really makes a difference and really makes you stand out from everybody else. Take care.